You ever wonder where all the electricity goes in your house? I used to have a lot of questions like, does this mini fridge with a glass door use more electricity than a regular sized fridge with a solid door? At night, is it cheaper to heat the whole house with a heat pump or only the rooms we're sleeping in with a space heater? What about this ceiling fan? How much does that use? Is it worth running it all day to pull the hot air down from the ceiling? What about the electric heat in the furnace? Or hey, what about that water heater? Anyway, you get the idea. So I started looking for a commercial product that could help me answer all of these questions. And what I found was that most of them were either way too expensive or didn't provide the level of detail and control that I really wanted. And I thought to myself, I could probably build one of these that costs less and does more. So that's what I did. I started with the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus, and then I added a custom PCB that allows you to connect 15 current transformers so you can monitor the power of 15 breakers in your panel all at the same time. And then I put it all in a 3D printed case. There are other ones that have tabs so you can mount it on the wall near your electrical panel. First you install the current transformers on the wires of the breakers in your electrical panel, and then you connect each one to a port on the hub. Next, plug in a voltage transformer to a nearby power outlet and connect it to the voltage port on the hub. Have more than 15 breakers? Add a second hub. Have more than 30? Add a third. You can add as many hubs as you need to track as many breakers as you have. After you add all of the hubs to your account and you configure all of the breakers in all of your panels, you'll be able to see the power on every single breaker in real time. Turn something on in your house and see that power in the app one second later. You can group all of your breakers into a hierarchy so you can categorize all of your usage and see totals across each of those groups. The graph allows you to see a more detailed picture of when devices or groups use energy. As you change your selection of breakers, the graph updates immediately to let you focus on specific usage. The summary at the top of the app has several useful pieces of data, especially if you have solar panels. The selected breakers field will always show the total for your selection and time frame. The total usage field shows how much electricity you've used across all breakers for the selected time frame. The total solar field shows how much solar energy you've produced. Solar usage is how much solar power was consumed directly in your home without being sent to the grid. From grid and to grid show exactly how much energy came in and out of your home and can be used to size battery backup capacity to go off grid. Peak from grid and peak to grid can also be used to size battery backup power needs. All of these calculations are available for every month and every year that you've been monitoring your power. Every joule that moves across every breaker each second is tracked and kept in perpetuity. If you decide to regroup things later, everything will be recalculated on the fly. And no matter what, the data can only be accessed by you and will never be sold to anyone. Many electricity providers offer different billing plans. If you enter the details of those plans into the Lantern Power Monitor, it can show you real-time billing information. When viewed over an entire year, it can tell you which of your available plans would save you the most money down to the penny. Because it uses commodity hardware, the Raspberry Pi, the Lantern Power Monitor is one of the least expensive power monitors you can purchase. But despite that, it provides better data with greater detail than any other power monitor you can buy. Development of the Raspberry Pi software, the server software, and the Android application is completely done. They're ready to go today. Beta testers have been using the Lantern Power Monitor since February of 2021, so you can expect a fully functional product on day one. Every feature you just saw is live in production today. There is still some work left to be done. I have an iPhone app that's about halfway finished, and I also plan to build a web UI so you can view all of your data in a browser. So if you decide to back me, please let me know which of those you'd like me to prioritize. If you have any other questions, feel free to check out lanternpowermonitor.com. There's a lot of great technical information there. Or you can always look at our subreddit or contact me directly there. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. I think that's everything. I'd love to have your support, and thanks for watching.